what can people, you know, what can, what can people do? We have a lot of listeners. Some of them are donors to causes. Uh, some of them are involved in, in politics. Um, some of them might be involved in Texas, you know, philanthropy or, or politics. Um, you know, is there, is there things that they can do for, do for you? I mean, there needs to be a lot of pressure on politicians in Texas, you know, specifically, and in these states to actually make radical changes to the university. And that means not going back to the well of fake conservatives that you think are going to do things. There needs to be major reform at the state level. Like, these are state entities. We are paying, we're writing large checks to people. Those checks need to come with an agreement to do things. There needs to be an absolute ban on all diversity, equity, and inclusion statements, all diversity, equity, and inclusion offices. All that needs to go. If you want to have people watching compliance, the DEI offices are the, the ones that are violating the law more than anyone else. You know, Put in a few lawyers and say enforce civil rights law, which is going to cause a huge problem for universities because they violate, you know, they're, they have all these programs designed that. Get rid of all DAI bureaucracy. That's a minimum. Get rid of university leadership that is sympathetic to DEI and CRT. Put serious and, people and, and in there's, charge. And there's, no, there's nothing, there is not, I mean, the critical race theory stuff, I think people will say First Amendment, blah, blah, blah. That there's nothing, you can write a law tomorrow that says no DEI statements or yeah. administrators in a university. A, a, leg, a Republican yeah. legislator can do that. A Republican legislator can, uh, yeah. legislative body can pass that. A governor can sign it. There's, there's nothing here. That, that, that yeah. is impossible. And, and you can make, you know, you can say, and we're going to establish uh, units within the university that are going to allow you to fin get through this university without having to repeat critical race theory nonsense, right? The other, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So you want to, you, if you really want to let these faculty continue to spout this nonsense, but they should not have the right to t keep a student away from a degree because he doesn't say in their class what they want them to say. Our faculty will fail you if you don't regurgitate the critical race theory nonsense to them. And they have at least two critical race theory requirements at UT through these flags that we have. And that's true in a lot of places. Anyone that has anywhere that has a diversity or social justice requirement, that's saying that in order to get this certification from the state, you must adhere at least state your adherence to a particular political ideology, that should be wiped out. That's not a violation of the First Amendment to say you're not allowed to force the students to hold a certain political view. So those are like low-hanging fruit, no-brainers, absolutely should happen. And if, you know, if you're giving money to a politician and he's not saying that should happen, then you need to rethink whether that's an actual somebody who actually yeah so i mean support. this is yeah so i mean like if a republican politician wants to ban guns or something i mean they will get primaried and they will they will lose right i think the problem with this one is it's so uh you know it's so like the status quo like a politician can you know never get in trouble for just doing the status the you know the status quo yeah. and the status quo is always just letting this thing go on autopilot right. um so you need yes, how the status quo came down to republicans voting large amounts of money to people to engage in communist activism yeah and that's just how that's yeah. just what's okay and now it's worse like i'd go back to communism over what these people want <laughs> yeah. good old days of yeah communist communist yeah. Universe. Back when the kgb was actually carefully controlling this stuff it at least had some coherence to it now it's all just it's all it's all gone <laughs> so wild without those guys like those guys got busy with other things and it just kind of had a took on a life of its own yeah. So, okay. So yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's possibilities for political action here. I'm, I'm, there's I'm a lot that there's a lot that could be done. It's just puzzling that nobody seems to want to do it. Yeah. Okay. So there's, um, I think, you know, I, I'm, I'm optimistic. I mean, the K through 12 stuff, I mean, you said that that's, people are getting serious about that. I mean, it does seem like a lot's going on school boards, elections, things are happening. I mean, it, it's, it's just, you know, getting conservatives to care about universities and wokeness that, that battle is won. It's just explaining to them the mechanics and making it, them a little more sophisticated. And it's really important that people understand that no matter what you, if you don't fix universities, you don't fix education schools, you don't fix education schools, you don't get the craziness out of K through 12. You can write all the laws you want, but if you keep having people coming through the University of Texas Education School and going and teaching your kids, it's going to be awful. 
write whatever you want to write in a bill. It won't work if you've still got these people. Um, right. Gotcha. Like, these are the people who want critical race theory for four year olds, and they're the ones training the teachers who are going to teach your children. And that's not great. It's not just a bunch of whiny faculty with, you know, yeah, on our little clouds bouncing around. We actually do. Sadly, universities do affect society. I wish it wasn't true, but it's true. Well, some people have pointed to some data saying that maybe they don't. I think that, you know, the problem with that data is I think they create they create activists. So even if 90, it goes over the head of 98% of students, if you create 2% people who are crazy enough to, it's probably more than 2%, whatever, 5 or 10% enough to take this stuff seriously. I mean, they're the ones who are going to push everyone, everyone else around. So, and yeah, they're I, I the ones who decide to go work for the government. They're the ones who go in, to, you know, they, they, they're trained not only to believe crazy things, but they're trained to take control of bureaucratic apparatus to uh, promote that. So. Yeah. So yeah, I would not. Yeah. So I would not. You know, the people maybe who have seen those studies. I you know about the average student and whether they get shifted right or left. I would not. You know, take that as too important as to uh, what's you know what's, what's the university, the influence of the universities. Mm -hmm.